how to run Python, JavaScript, C Sharp, PowerShell, and BBScript on Power Automate Desktop. Let's get started with Python. So to run Python on Power Automate Desktop, let's use the run Python script action. And so here we have to write the script to run, or else we can write it with the help of Copilot. So let's use here a very simple script that will provide the sum of these two numbers. Then we can specify the Python version to be used when running this script. So also very important to mention, it's needed, it's a requirement to have Python installed on the computer where the Parallel Media Desktop flow will run. So the script can be executed. And that's basically it. So then we have here additional setting that we can change if we want. So let's save, and now let's run the flow. And here we can see on the right side that the Python script output variable, which is an output from the action, has the value tree, which is a result of the sum of these two numbers. JavaScript. So to run JavaScript on PowerMate Desktop, let's use the run JavaScript action. And so here it's very straightforward. We just have to provide the code to run, the JavaScript code. So let's use again a very simple one, which basically will print the subtraction of these two numbers. Else we can use Copilot to help us to generate a JavaScript script. And then here as output, we'll get this variable, which we can change the name if we want, that will, uh, on this case, will show the result of the subtraction of these two numbers. So let's save. And now let's just comment the run Python script action. And now let's run the flow. And here we can see the JavaScript output variable has the value for, which is the result from the subtraction of these two numbers. C Sharp. So to run C Sharp on Parallel Media Desktop, let's use the run.net script action, which allows to run C Sharp and BizzleBasic.net scripts. So in our case, we'll use C Sharp. Then here we can pass script imports and references to be loaded. Else we can use parameters of type entry or exit. And then here we have to paste the code to be executed. So let's use a very simple one that basically starts the Windows calculator. So just one line. So now let's save and let's comment the run JavaScript action and let's run. And as you can see, we started the Windows calculator. PowerShell script. To run PowerShell scripts on Parallel Desktop, we can use the run PowerShell script action. And so here we just have to paste the PowerShell code to run. Let's use, uh, on this case, the Copilot to help us to generate a script that will start the Windows uh, Notepad app. So let's write here the prompt, write script that starts the Windows Notepad. Let's press Generate. And here you can see uh, the code, very simple. Let's click on Use this script. And now let's save. Let's comment the run.net script action. And now let's run. And here you can see that we started the Windows Notepad. BB script. To run BBScript code on Parallel Desktop, let's use the run BBScript action. And let's use again the Copilot to help us to generate a script. So let's ask Copilot to write for us a script to fetch our local private IP. So here, write the script to fetch private IP. Let's press generate. And here you can see the script. Let's click on use this script. And so uh, we shall see in the hand from the BB script output variable, our private IP. So let's press save. And before I execute the flow, let's just comment the run PowerShell script action. And now let's run. And here you can see on the BB script output variable, our private IP that we got from the BB script code. So let's just check if it's right. So if we open our terminal and run the command ipconfig, here we can see our private IP 
which is the same that we got from the BB script code. And that's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and now consider to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.